Hello. Uh, I'm going to do another quick five-minute findings today on uh, some of my research involving a steroid hormone called dehydroepiandrosterone, or DHEA. DHEA has been uh, a target of interest for a number of investigators to determine whether or not we might be able to improve cognitive functioning, particularly in older adults. DHEA is a steroid hormone that uh, circulating steroid hormone that starts to decline relatively quickly with age. You can see here. DHA declines rather rapidly, starting in the late 20s, early 30s, and then steadily declines as we get older. There's some belief that DHEA might be tied to cognition because DHEA is a weak antagonist of the neurotransmitter GABA. And GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that has been implicated in a variety of cognitive functioning. The other reason why DHEA might be involved in uh, cognition in uh, older adults is, is it metabolizes into other steroid hormones. Now, I can get into the to exactly how that happens, but to say the least, it's complicated. Essentially, if you take the supplement DHEA, it can be turned into a variety of things. Androstenedione is the first step uh, for uh, being turned into estrone, estradiol, and testosterone. So, depending on the level of circulating uh, enzymes like 17 beta HSD and uh, 3 beta HSD and cytochrome P450 aromatase, uh, the DHEA you might take will turn itself into a bunch of other things. Primarily, it will end up being testosterone and estrogens. So one of the problems in conducting research in this area is trying to determine what you've turned it into. So what we did back in 2004, I want to say, uh, is actually the experiments were conducted in 2002, is we tested a um, group of postmenopausal women who had undergone either surgical menopause or completed menopause. And we used this population in particular because uh, they have sort of a blank hormonal slate. They have relatively low levels of circulating uh, hormones, so as a result, supplementing those hormone levels causes a pretty significant increase. And so uh, this was a 10-week trial. Uh, participants were on, uh, it was a double-blind placebo-controlled crossover design, so participants both took uh, placebo for four weeks and DHEA for four weeks, and so they would take one for four weeks come in and be tested uh, for an entire day. We tested them at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., noon, and 4 p.m. on both testing days. Uh, so they would come in after four weeks of taking pills, get tested. They had a two-week washout period where they didn't take anything, and then they started another set of pills for another four weeks. So it was a very long 10-week trial. So what you can see, you won't be able to see this in great detail, is we were able to substantially elevate circulating levels of estrogens, testosterones, and DHEA. Unfortunately, uh, we were unable to detect any significant increase in memory performance in our women uh, or any other cognitive performance such as um, vigilance or short-term memories uh, performance. We did, however, find that the increase in estrogens was associated with an increase in recognition memory. So that increase in estrogens actually improved memory performance in our participants, but didn't the supplement itself didn't significantly increase their memory performance. Complicated. Um, so, we uh, conducted another set of experiments, and again, complicated and mixed findings, but in general, our findings have been that the supplement itself is not sufficient uh, to improve performance in uh, older adults, at least in the shorter, relatively shorter terms uh, that we have looked at. Uh, so, the take-home message from our experiments is that while a supplement like DHEA might have other benefits uh, that aren't associated with cognition, our results show that DHEA supplementation does not improve cognition in the populations we study. Now, I want to make something very clear. DHEA is a, a steroid hormone, and it's something you should never take without talking with your doctor first. DHEA can um, convert into estrogens, which can be associated with increased breast cancer risk, can also um, convert into a testosterone, and so you have to be very cautious uh, in taking any kind of steroid hormone. So always consult with your physician before taking anything like it. Now, that being said, there have been some trials that have demonstrated the potential for a, a drug like DHEA to improve depression in some participants, in particular HIV positive patients, and there seems to be some relationship between the levels of DHEA and cortisol in mitigating the stress effects of things like HIV infection. So there is the potential for this uh, particular supplement to have some benefits, but certainly cognition is not one that we were able to find. So that's the take home message. DHEA might have some benefits, but in our research we found no benefits to cognition, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it as a way to improve cognitive functioning in older.